I'm Ron Davis. Uh, I'm a professor of biochemistry and genetics at Stanford University. I'm also the director of the Stanford Genome and Technology Center. I've, I've applied twice to NIH and, and turned down twice because they didn't like my hypothesis. And uh, we don't know what this disease is. We have to figure it out. And, uh, and I think this thing is going to be solvable. Uh, we have made more progress with one researcher in my lab in the last year than the entire world in the past 30. And that's all done with just donations. And I, I, I think we can really uh, do a lot if a lot of people join this. And we, what we need are good researchers and people with a good track record. There are a lot of them. And I've gotten two other faculty that are the, 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 the chair of uh, genetics and the chair of immunology to join me. What are their names? Uh, that's uh, Mark Davis in immunology and, and Mike Snyder in, in genetics. And they're all hot to work on this. Can you explain this? Well, this is just a period, this is just some pictures of my son, both when he was young and, and active, wonderful person. There he is protecting his, his, his sister. <laughs> And then down here at the bottom is what he looks like now. Uh, he's severely ill, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm one of the caretakers, and my wife is the other, and he requires constant care. He can't eat, he can't talk. Now obviously this is what inspired you um, to an extent, but uh, did you know about it beforehand? I had a friend that I knew had it, and, but I didn't understand what it was. And a lot of people have told me that it's uh, it's not real. But as soon as my son came down with it, it's very real, because I know him, and I know that he wouldn't uh, want to fake an illness. He's a very dynamic, uh, outgoing person, and so. Uh, it was very clearly a real disease. Now that we've collected some data on it, absolutely clear. There's a lot wrong. A lot. And the medical community does a few tests, and those tests come back normal. And they do on my son. Look at him. He's not normal. But when we do a more extensive analysis, uh, uh, we have found uh, 193 things that are wrong. And, uh, some of those are probably also wrong in other patients. And you can't just use your standard test. The medical community tests for 20 things. Uh, we're testing for thousands. Yeah. Uh, is it worth going into any of that right now, or is it, is it maybe too, uh, too in-depth? Well, wanna, the, what are we looking for? The biggest so? breakthrough I think we've seen in this disease is being able to do what's called metabolomics. And metabolomics deals with the small molecules that are in your body, and uh, they have not been looked at extensively. They're often what the, the uh, doctors do tests for, but they only test for you know 20 or 30 things. Uh, the, the new technologies allow us to do uh, hundreds uh, simultaneously. So they normally take you know 10 mils of blood to do one. Uh, with this technology, you can take a tenth of a milliliter and do 700. And those show a lot of abnormalities. And one thing they show is that your energy levels are obviously very low. Your whole cycle for generating energy is off. We don't know why, but we know you're not generating the right biochemistry to generate energy. And you can't you can't really metabolize the glucose properly. They cannot metabolize fat properly, and they don't have any energy. And uh, this is what happens when you don't have energy. And we ought, we got to figure out what's blocking it. Okay. I, I think this is really good footage. We might, you know, get more chance to talk with yeah. you. Yeah. Some of that. Yeah. And, um, and yeah.
Yeah, that's actually that's really great. I learned something already. So. Well, it's a fascinating you know, biological, a biochemical, and genetic problem. Uh, fantastic opportunity for people. You know, when is it that you have a disease that's a major disease that affects something like two percent of the population that you don't know anything about and didn't even know it existed? Well, what we really need is research funding for uh, lots of investigators. And we really need NIH to step up to the plate and actually take responsibility for this problem and not just be passive and say, oh, we don't get any good grants. Well, solve that problem.